Well, happening today, schools in the Inglewood School District will be closed as hundreds of teachers plan to walk out. That's right. Uh, those teachers will head down to the state capitol to demand better pay. Denver 7's Megan Lopez is live for us this morning. And Megan, this isn't just about their salaries. No, it's not just about their salaries. It's also about their pension fund, their retirement fund, and of course about school funding. And yes, a little bit about salaries. Someone who knows a lot more about that is Carrie Dahlman. Uh, she's the president of the Colorado Education Association. So Carrie, I mean, just kind of talk about those bullet points that I was telling you uh, for what is the important message for lawmakers today? Well, Colorado schools have been chronically underfunded to the tune of $828 million uh, this year alone. So given the fact that education salaries in Colorado rank 46 nationally and over the last 15 years when you adjust for inflation educators have lost about 17 percent of our salaries all of this is contributing to a statewide educator shortage and right now we have about 3,000 vacancies where our pension is concerned we're incredibly concerned about how the bill exited the Senate with defined contribution as part of it which will only increase expenses for our local school districts and you can see how you have an underfunded school system and there's a proposal that would actually increase substantially expenses for for defined contribution which does nothing to fix our pension and so we've seen these protests happen in other parts of the country in Oklahoma and West Virginia uh, and it took a while for them to go ahead and to achieve their goals but they, they did see some sort of either a funding increase or, or teacher salary increase I mean how how far are you guys willing to take this in order to make sure that something is done. Well, that's ultimately up to the members of our association. We represent over 35,000 members and we take our cue from them. Uh, certainly today we're, we're looking to see well over 500 educators show up to the Capitol today. Uh, those are people who have taken their personal leave who are electing to use it to speak to their elected representatives. Well, perfect, Carrie. Thank you so much for joining me. So as you heard, about 500 people could end up showing up today. Uh, they're going to be meeting, meeting with lawmakers around 10 this morning and then attending a House Finance Committee hearing to talk about that pension fund that you heard Carrie talking about. And then at 4.30, they're going to be holding a rally right outside of the Capitol. I'm live in front of the Capitol. Megan Lopez, number seven.